This is our part two of the geography lesson of the continent map. And remember, if you've already done part one of the continent map, you can choose the continent that you're from to start with, and then all of the rest of it will be similar. So you can follow the same pattern. So we have done North America. You've seen part one. They've learned the names of the continents and transferred them from the map to the control map. And if they're still interested, this is where you look for following the child and watching their interest. If they're still curious and they're ready to put pen to paper, they have a strong pencil grip and they want to trace, they've done tracing and they've already done pin poking, then you're ready to start this next step. What you will need is your map of the continent you're doing, your control map, you will need a glue stick, a pencil, a pin poke of some kind to poke out the paper. You will need different colors of colored paper, just regular construction paper, and you'll need it to be the colors that are on the continent map you're doing. So for North America, we will need brown for Canada, yellow for the United States, orange for Mexico, and so on. And then lastly, you will need a large piece of paper to glue your countries onto, something about the same size as the maps. So um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just something similar in size so you can glue the countries onto your map. From this point, you're ready to trace. So you'll start with the country you're from, and you'll need to get some paper to do the tracing and the pin poking. So you'll look and see, say to the child, what color do you need? What color paper will you need to trace the United States? So on this map, the United States is yellow. So you will look in your pile of colored paper and find a yellow piece, and then you're ready to begin tracing. So this is where your child is ready to be holding a pencil, and they will place the, co the country and trace around with their pencil. And this is great for focus and concentration in children all the fine motor skills they will need to hold the country with one hand and trace with the other. So now we have traced, and after you've traced each country, you'll put it back on the original map. That way the children are able to remember which ones they've done and which ones they're still working on. So you have the United States traced on a piece of yellow paper, and now you're ready to pin poke. So now you have traced the child, your child has traced all of their countries, and so you've got a piece of paper pin poked out that represents each country. Now they are ready to glue them on. Two little side notes, there's a lot of little teeny countries in all of these continent maps, especially when you get to Asia. <laughs> there are so many little teeny tiny countries. So if your child is just wanting to do the bigger ones to start off with, absolutely fine. We want them to have success. We want them to have success and enjoy the process. So if it becomes just a nightmare of being tedious of little teeny countries, that's not very fun. So we'll just start out with the, the biggest ones. If you want to help them a little bit, do some of the smaller ones, or if they want to cut out the colored paper, if they want to practice using scissors, that's fine too. We want to make this work. They want to have joy and success at what they've created. So make that happen however you need to. If you have a child that's writing their letters, if they want to, they can write the name of the country. So here they could write the United States, and you could have a little piece of paper with the United States written for them, so they can write if they want to. Do not have to. So for this first one, we have nothing written on the country. So we are ready to start gluing. We always use glue sticks because they're so much easier than bottles of glue, much less messy. So, and the other thing is I'm doing this for you upside down, made for TV, but when you're doing it, you'll be sitting next to your child and their child will be looking at the map in the correct angle. So they would be sitting looking at the map so that everything is correct north to south to give them perspective. So we'll start with the United States. Make sure you put the glue on the correct side. We have that happen all the time where they'll glue the wrong side and put it backwards. So you'll hold it onto the map, then realize you need the glue on the other side, more problem solving skills. They'll put glue on the map. You might talk with them about how the United States is in the center of North America, so you'll want to put it to the center of your paper, and you glue it down. 
They're ready for the next country. They'll do Canada. Make sure they put the glue on the other side. And then here is where Miss Kelly lives, or used to live. And again, continue to give them perspective of their world. Here is Mexico, and here is where Mexico goes. You can find the right, right placement for it. All right, so you can continue on with all the smaller countries, and then the goal is they will have their very own map of North America. Many times we'll put a little sticker where they live, so you find where they live in their world and put a little sticker, or they could put a little star right here, or just a little dot, to give them perspective of where they live in their world. Here is one other option or extension we wanted to show you how to make a continent map. So this time, instead of tracing and pin poking on a piece of colored paper, you're going to take the country and just put it directly onto a white piece of paper. The child will trace around, and again, I'm doing this upside down. You would not do it upside down with your child. Trace around the United States. There's the United States trace around each country and then after they've traced all the countries and you have an outline of North America on a large piece of paper then they're going to paint. So this is a lot of fun. The, the older children really like this in the classroom. It's just one more way to make a map. So you'll, after they've traced every country they're going to get out their paints. The United States would be what color? So they're going to get some yellow paint for the United States, brown paint for Canada, and so on and so forth. And then they'll have another really cool, originally made map that they've done all by themselves. So enjoy this work on the continents. It's a great way for children to get perspective of where they live in the world. They may ask or a lot of questions may came up during this work, like different animals that live in different continents, different cultures, different languages. You know, there, there's just so many things you can explore doing these geography works. And Montessori is really big about learning about your world and becoming more understanding about different people that live in different cultures. So enjoy this.